Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are looking at another game of Mikhail Tal which he played against a legendary player Mikhail Botvinnik this game is from World Chess Championship 1961 and Mikhail Tal was playing as a white so he started the game with the e4 and now c6 Karukan defense d4 d5 and after e5 this is Karukan advanced variation so now c5 attacks the tail pawn Mikhail Tal played d captures on c5 and after e6 uh, Botvinnik is attacking this pawn with the bishop so Mikhail Tal played queen to g4 and now you cannot capture this bishop because of queen captures on g7 threat both Vinik played knight to c6 attacks the e5 and Mikhail Tal defends it with the knight to f3 both Vinik again attacks it with the queen to c7 and now Mikhail Tal played bishop to b5 pinning this knight uh, so now bishop to d7 unpinning this knight and Mikhail Tal exchange this knight with his bishop bishop captures on c6 and after queen captures on c6 he played a uh, bishop to e3 again you cannot capture this bishop because of bishop captures on c5 with the queen captures on g7 so in this position both winik played knight to h6 attacks the queen so now mikhail tal shocked everyone with the bishop captures on h6 and if we look at this position mikhail tal has exchanged his both bishops with the both winik knights in the very starting of the game well both winik played g captures on h6 and now knight to b2 so the best plan for Mikhail Tal in this position is to hold the position close because knights perform well in the close position and the bishops perform well in the open position and if we look at the both winning bishops right now they are not doing anything in the game so he played a uh, queen to c5 uh, but now c4 capturing this pawn is not a good idea because Mikhail Tal can play knight capture with the coming rook a to c1 that's why both winning first played a uh, queen side castle and now king side castle king to b8 king to b8 is an important move uh, let's say he don't play king to b8 in this position he play a uh, d captures on c4 uh, but again mikhail tal can play a uh, knight capture with the coming rook a to c1 and because the both winning queen and king is in the same line mikhail tal can create some tactic that's why in this position he first played king to b8 and now rook f to d1 queen to b6 and now queen to h4 stop the video and try to find why mikhail tal played this queen to h4 move uh, it's simple mikhail tal is attacking this rook and the both winning queen is defending this rook so because of this queen attacking the rook both winning queen cannot move this diagonal of a5 to d8 so both winning played a5 rook a to c1 rook to g8 and now knight to b3 a4 attacks the knight uh, but Mikhail Tal first played a c5 remember you cannot leave this diagonal so that's why the only move for the black is to play queen to c7 and now knight b to d4 and that's how Mikhail Tal centralized his one knight in this position both winning played uh, rook to c8 uh, but let's see what happens if you play bishop captures on c5 then Mikhail Tal can play b4 attacks the bishop so now a captures on b3 and after knight captures on b3 Mikhail Tal is attacking this bishop up twice so let's say you play this b6 uh, but Mikhail Tal can later play this a4 and this position does not look very comfortable for the black that's why in this position he didn't play bishop captures on c5 he played uh, rook to c8 uh, but Mikhail Tal didn't stop and he played b4 so now a captures on b3 and a captures on b3 queen to d8 uh, Mikhail Botvinnik is offering the queen exchange and maybe he was thinking that after queen exchange he can equalize the game so Mikhail Tal accept the queen exchange queen captures on d8 uh, rook captures on d8 and after b4 these two pawns are way more dangerous than they look first black played rook to g4 uh, b5 and now rook to c8 and now both winnik is attacking this pawn both with the bishop and the rook so mikhail tal defends it with the c6 and both winnik played a uh, bishop to e8 uh, let's see what happens if you capture this pawn if you play b captures on c6 uh, but now b captures on c6 and now if you play bishop to e8 mikhail tal is easily winning with the rook to c2 move because he can play rook to c1 making the battery of the rooks and then pushing the pawn and he can also play this rook to b1 check and that's why this position is just winning for Mikhail Tal that's why in this position both winning didn't capture the pawn he played bishop to e8 but Mikhail Tal still didn't stop and
and he played rook to c2 with the simple plan of rook to c1 making the battery of the rooks and then he can play uh, this c7 move if black play king to a8 uh, then rook to a1 is a checkmate so that's why he is forced to play rook captures and after rook captures uh, that's how Mikhail Tal will win the rook so both when he played bishop to g7 rook to a1 and now bishop captures on e5 Mikhail Tal played knight captures on e5 then rook captures on d4 now Mikhail Tal gives the final blow with the knight captures on d7 check and at this position both when he resigned the reason is simple if you capture the knight uh, then c captures on d7 and Mikhail Tal is just winning this position because if you capture the rook uh, then d8 is equal to queen so let's say black play uh, rook d to c4 and after rook captures pawn captures uh, d captures on c8 is equal to queen and after king captures Mikhail Tal has this extra rook and that is the reason why Mikhail Botvinnik resigned in this game so I hope you like this brilliant game of Mikhail Tal and if you like it please like this video subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content